Greetings and welcome to In the Margins, a multimedia project and Minecraft server. I am, as always, in my own world. Thank you for joining me here. <laughs> my pronouns are they, them, and as a reminder, I have motor and vocal tics. You will hear odd sounds from time to time. <laughs> For more information about the In the Margins project, please visit marginallyactive.com. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be showing you Server Hoglin Farm. <laughs> Server Hoglin Farm is where people can go if they want to pick up uh, pick up some leather without having to. Ah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> pick up some leather without having to breed, breed cattle. Took a bit. I had a, a player asking where to go to get leather, and the only thing we had was a cow spawner on Cow Island, which, you know, cool. But uh, I uh, hoglins drop leather, so we can just have a nice automatic leather farm. Baby. Now, if you know about mob spawning, you know that mobs can spawn on mon on the Mobs can spawn on mob spawnable spaces within 125 blocks of a player. So a sphere of a, or 128. A sphere of 128 blocks around the player mm -hmm. means that uh, mobs can spawn. So the best place to do mob farms are going to be way, way at the top of the build limit so that there is absolutely nothing within 128 blocks of you except for the mob farm. That did so what we have here is a whole bunch of lit jack-o'-lanterns. Mm -hmm. That means that uh, there is bright, bright light everywhere, and hoglins can spawn in uh, full light, but other mobs cannot in the crimson forest biome. So I found a crimson forest biome, went above the nether roof, built this farm, and now you can just sort of park yourself here at the top of the farm, and watch the hoglins all fall down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. If you want cooked pork chops, you can just turn on the lava. If you want raw pork chops, you can um, mm -hmm. you can let them come down here. You can also AFK down here if you want and get some XP as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, there is a chest over here with some looting three swords, if you don't have one of your own. Skibid. And, uh, right, this button here. Wow. This button here will toggle into the lava. So you have cooked pork chops. Skibid. And on this floor, we have an item sorter. So we have the raw pork chops come in here, the cooked pork chops come in here, and the leather come in here three butchers, all of whom will take uh, raw pork chops, and oops, you're a butcher, there we go, <laughs> a leather worker who will buy leather from you. We also have a small bee farm that runs while you're here, and uh, currently it's set up for honeycomb, it just has shears in there. If you want honey, put uh, replace the shears with glass bottles. Speed. Do not try to sleep in the bed. They're too far away for you to click on, but do not try to sleep in the bed. Beds in the nether will explode. I'm uh, going to possibly put in a chicken farm in here as well, so that you can have chicken to trade with the uh, butchers. And that's pretty much it. Let me go ahead and switch into creative mode. And... So... We have the hoglins that spawn. Hoglins are afraid of uh, warped fungus. They will run away from it. So we have some warped fungus around the edges. I'm going to turn on chunk borders. That is going to be uh, F3. Uh, hold down F3 and G. And I get chunk borders. And you can see that this farm is built in four chunks. Mob spawning. Uh, the mob spawning algorithm will check each chunk and attempt to spawn mobs in it. So by having this farm be in four chunks, that increases the number of spawns that we get. I'm going to turn off that, and that's just F3 and G again. Whoops! <laughs> Did not mean to throw that down there. 
And then down here, we just have uh, a few more warped fungus that they try to get away from, and they push each other and run down into the killing chamber. Excuse me. So, so there we have cooked pork chops and leather and emeralds and honey and wax. And that is accessible from the uh, Warp chambers, uh, the warp pipes at spawn will take you to the nether, or the warp room, sorry, yes, the warp room at spawn, which does have warped pipes, will also have the portal to take you to the nether <laughs> so that you can hop over here to the hogland farm. Not a particularly exciting video, I know. So, uh, as long as we're here, a player has built, ah, yes, there we go. I want to go to the end. A player has decided to build a, um, wither rose farm, which is excellent. I never got around to building one. And, uh, since on this server, the, uh, Since on this server, grief prevention uh, keeps mobs from blowing up blocks, it means that we have, here we go, this is the one. We have a nice easy way to make the wither cage. Don't have to worry so much about uh, the wither accidentally blowing everything up for you. This isn't. So there's an AFK platform up high in the sky that Goose, that's, I believe that's how the name is pronounced, <laughs> is working on. So, so you stand up here and uh, Enderman should start showing up on that platform down there. I'm not sure why they aren't. Ah. There we go. So Endermen show up on the platform. They come after the trapped Endermite. The Endermen fall down. Into this chamber where the Wither will attack them. The Wither also has, I believe, one of its focuses on... Oh, no. The Wither is supposed to have a focus on a chicken, which is supposed to be there, but it disappeared. I will have to add a chicken and a name tag in there because this farm is not working without that. Okay. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we'd have down here a Wither Rose farm. Uh, when a mob of any type, hostile or passive, is killed by a Wither... Uh, the, killed by the Wither with a specific color of skull. I think it fires, yeah, it fires out blasts out of its main head, central head of one type and out of the side heads of another type. And one of those types will convert mobs, uh, not, will, will cause mobs to drop a wither, skull, uh, wither rose when they die. Wither roses are like regular roses, except that they hurt you when you stand on them. They start sucking away your life. So, there was the server Hogland Farm and a bonus of the brand new server, uh, or not, of the brand new player built with a rose farm. <laughs> Thank you for joining me here on In the Margins. Happy crafting! <laughs>
Thank you. 